Now, if one explodes on it, we're going to have a situation on our hands. Uh oh, like right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here today again at this pond that I guess you could say is my favorite pond to come to when it floods because it seems like every time I come here it's flooding but anyway I've had some success here lately with big fish so I'm head hunting today again looking for some more real big ones out of this place but uh, anyway I got here a little bit later than I would like but to my pleasant surprise, there was nobody here in the parking lot. So I'm the first one here, as far as I know, this morning. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna start off throwing a topwater frog here, like I always like to do. And I usually throw a rage toad around here, but starting with a ribbit today, a Stanley ribbit, just because pretty darn calm and this isn't quite as loud as a rage toad and the water's pretty off colored it's almost chocolate milk here so it's a brighter color than I normally throw my rage toads also so Oh, dang it. Missed the fish right there. Golly. Right in front of me. That might happen a lot today. Might need to make a lot of repeated casts because the water's so dirty. Might have a hard time locating it. But golly, that fish hit it right in front of me. That's kind of crazy. I've been making a little bit of commotion right here. I thought I would have scared off anything within the immediate vicinity. Huh. Well, that's a good sign for the frog already. time after hit because I never felt pressure but I think there's a little guy I just had it by the legs or something nice blow up dang it the fish came off golly that was a good fish. Well, I found this buzzing frog far back into this corner of this pond as I can. Back here where I've caught my big ones actually on a frog. I haven't got any more bites, which is kind of weird because. This is where all the grass is. This is usually where they run up in when it floods like this. 
The water was clearer back in here. Everything looks good, but I'm just not chasing down that buzzing frog. So I'm trying a walking frog to throw on the way out here and see if that makes a difference. And then I'll throw the things out on the main pond once we get out there. No! Golly! Another one come off! Dang it! Gee whiz, I don't know what happened on that one. Stuck him hard and then he just came off. Goodness gracious. everything today what is going on I didn't feel that one I'm actually at the beginning of where I put in here at this pond I'm just gonna throw this walking frog I was throwing a buzzing frog along here in the morning so I'm just gonna throw this walking frog here for a little bit up at this end see if I can get bit real quick if I don't there's another Nearby pond I'll probably hit before I leave. Well, backlash my braid rod. So bad I can't even get it, so. Done with this rod for the day. Golly, man. This is a frustrating day so far. Son of a gun. Well, what I went ahead and did here was I took my braid reel off, but I put my 20 pound mono reel on the extra heavy rod so that I could go ahead and keep throwing this frog with a better hookup ratio than I would have if I had a medium heavy rod. Mono still isn't ideal of course for a frog but an extra heavy rod should give me the stiffness I need to get a hook in them. Maybe. I mean, I've lost everything that's hit me so far today, so can't get any worse. Also, while I was at it, switched this rod over to a flapping shad. A little soft jerk bait. Whew. Well, I've made my way over again to the nearby pond. Let's see how this one goes. Not as good as those ones I lost in the other pond, but it's a fish. I'm looking down over here, actually looking for my next cast up here in the shallows. That fish surprised me and took off with it. That was cool. Nice little chunky dude. He's really brown. All his fins and everything. Wow. He's brown like a smallmouth and he's got a big old belly on him. Looks like he just ate something. Just ate a big old perch or something, or a big old crawdad, and he's eating my flapping shad again. Thank you, buddy, that was fun. Went ahead and put a little uh, paddle tail swim bait on this stiffer rod. And then I 
took that frog off and put a put a rattle trap on that medium heavy rod. I'm just not feeling that frog today. They're just not seeming like they're doing it like normal. Oh no! Golly! That was another good one. What in the world is going on? That was like one of the ones I missed in that first pond. That was another real nice one. <laughs> Slammed it right at the edge of the grass there. It's just a little guy, but that was a nice little hit. Look how small he was. Thank you, little buddy. Ah, golly, there goes another one. Well, I came back over here to this other pond again to try to get on a couple more fish before I leave here. And a couple of dudes drop in a tandem kayak down there. So I've got company now. So I think that's about my sign to leave. You gonna go grazing a bear? Maybe there's some fish up here sunning with this new water. It rained quite a bit the night before last. Wow. Even this little finesse shroom's head is too heavy for over here really. The grass is going up off the bottom so high. Yeah, that's too much. It's too much. Probably gonna break this one off now. Zena, come here. Stay. Zena, stop it. Stay. That's right. Get out of my fishing hole, boys. Zena said so. Right, Z? Completely kidding, by the way, for all you pit bull haters out there. She barks like that out of curiosity. She's never bit someone in her life. What I'm about to do, I may end up regretting. I'm tying, all, tying on a whopper plopper. It is just a little 90, but tying on a whopper plopper on stock Doc Demon line, which is, I don't know, <laughs> four to eight pound test, probably somewhere in that range. So, see how this turns out. Zenith, come here, get up here, weirdo, stay here. Can't really cast it as well as I thought I could pretty heavy. I was having no problem throwing that, that crawdad, but this seems to not want to cast as far. Eh, I don't know. I can get out there pretty good. Now if one explodes on it, we're going to have a situation on our hands. Uh oh, like right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got a situation on our hands. <laughs> We've got a situation on our hands. This is a nice one too. Oh yes, yes, yes. This just happened. 
I was sitting here talking about it, and it just happened. <laughs> I could not have scripted that any better. Are you kidding me? What in the world just happened? That fish just exploded on my whopper plopper as I was talking about the problem we were going to have if I got a bite on that whopper plopper. <laughs> That's a decent fish for this pond for sure. Lips bleeding a little bit there. But, gosh, that was a nice blow up and a very fun fight on that little Doc Demon rod right there. That is stock Doc Demon line. I have no idea what kind of test that is, but I'm going to try to find out because <laughs> that was crazy. Wow. Thank you for making that happen, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was incredible. Well, that's all I had to do here. <laughs> that, uh, that made for the whole experience, for the whole video, for everything. The day is complete. Thank you.